I come with today's teaching and according to our program for today, we are trying to, we, we, yesterday we were talking about understanding our destiny and we try to understand that we actually have no power to, to direct ourselves apart from him, the sovereign Lord that is above everything, the creator of the entire universe is the only one that has the audacity to actually direct us. So less from that, if you direct yourself, at times you may direct yourself out of his direction and that's how you end up hitting rock, rock bottom. That's how you end up losing a lot of money in businesses because you've never even bothered to ask him what business should you do. Mm? That's how people end up getting to the wrong marriages because they've never asked him, is he the one for me? They just go before they know it, they are, um, they are regretting. It's a lot that is entailed in... in uh, you not understanding your destiny so today um we are trying to redirect our altered destinies we humans altered our destiny due to disobedience due to lack of faith lack of trust in god you know um the bible tells you ask and it shall be given so god expects you to ask for a husband and when you ask you wait because in the bible he says i make everything beautiful in my time so for you you didn't you asked but you didn't even wait for him to bring his you didn't wait for his time to come through so because of that your destiny was altered you end up being a single mom you end up being in a painful marriage you ended up being um divorced why maybe because you didn't follow his um direction and maybe if you had that fall if you had followed his direction probably you'd be smiling today so there are so many things there are money with there is money we've lost there are opportunities we've lost there are so many things we've lost out of lack of wisdom and of understanding the fact that actually we have to ask god first in everything we do because we saw him in the Bible telling us that do not lean on your own understanding, but in everything, seek the guidance of God. So today we are trying to direct, redirect our altered destinies. And how do we redirect our altered destinies? By crying out to God because he's in control. Hmm? In Jeremiah 29, 11 to like, uh, like 13, he says... For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to bring you harm. Plans to give you hope and a future. Ah, and it says, then you will call on me and come pray to me and I'll listen to you. You'll seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I'll be found by you, declares the Lord, and bring you back from cut captivity. So... God is promising that um, if we trust in him to direct our steps, since he knows the plans for us, we don't know. And remember, his plans are to prosper us and not to bring us harm. Mm? He's saying if we, redire if we let him direct our course, we shall call on him and he will come through. We shall pray to him and he will listen. We shall seek him and we will find find him you know we will find him and he will bring us out of our captivity he will gather us from all the nations and places where we have been where we've been banished and he will bring back us back to the place from which uh he had carried us to exile so i think you trying to redirect your altered destiny is is the same as you trying to get back in alignment with god you know seeking him and acknowledging him as the god that has authority over everything um there is when he talks about himself in um in john 5 30 whereby he says by myself i can do nothing i judge only as i hear and my judgment is just for i seek not to please myself but to please him who sent me we could adapt to this phrase and we're like god we can do nothing we can only judge as our as we hear, but we seek to please you who called us into this world. Because with you, without you, we can do nothing. So it's more of you resubmitting your purpose, your life, your future back to God. You resubmit your future back to God because you don't even know what the future holds. 
And as you're redirecting this, I want you to bear in mind that you have to be patient because God does things in his timing. His timing is the best for you. You may want something now, but maybe to him, he thinks you're not yet ready for it. In Habakkuk 2.3, he tells us, For still the vision awaits its appointed time. It hastens to the end. It will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not delay. With God, there is no delay. He's always on time, but his opportune time, not yours. So as we are redirecting um, our altered destinies, as we are talking back to him and telling him, look here, God, we come back to that place where you, you initially aligned us you know where we had drifted away as we come back give us the grace to await your appointed time for it hastens to the end and it does not lie it may seem slow but we are waiting for it for surely you'll come through and you'll not delay you know yes um so today is going to be more of prayer it's going to be more of prayer. Yesterday we were meditating and trying to understand. So today we are trying to pray and redirecting our altered destinies, you know. So today is more of prayer than listening. That's why you're going to find um, my teaching today is going to be very short and it will be more of prayer. So let's pray. Father Lord, we want to say thank you for your word. We want to say thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your care. Thank you for the progress. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the anointing. Lord, we glorify you and magnify your name. We say you are worthy. There is none like you, Lord. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You're the beginning and the end. You're the author and the finisher of our life. And there is none that can be compared to you, Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love. Thank you for the testimonies we are having on board. Glory to your name. We know we are not worthy to be in your presence because we've sinned and fallen short of your glory. We've moved out of alignment to the purpose you had for us. Father, before we were even conceived in our mother's womb, you predestined our living. You planned every single day of our lives. But in so many ways, we are out of alignment with the plans you had for our lives. We went out of the purpose you had for us for marriage. You had purposed us to have a particular marriage. And because we didn't even ask you who to marry, we went in the wrong ones. We, 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 people have found themselves to be single mothers today, Lord, because they have, may have missed your purpose and fell into the trap of the evil one. Father, there are those who have lost money in businesses. They didn't know which business to do and they didn't even bother to ask you. And because of that, they found themselves lose money to close to and some are even bankrupt at this time as I speak. There are those who did not listen to your warnings and they've ended up with diseases lord there are those who who because of um, not listening to your directives father they've fallen prey and become victims of depression vic victims of rejection vic victims of shame father lord today we come back to you as your children as the lost sheep we want you to realign us according to your purpose when you created us in our mother's womb you knew exactly who our husbands will be, who our wives in will be, what course we will do, what business will do for us, who exactly our children will be, and what you want us to do in this world. Forgive us where we've skipped these things. Forgive us where we've been neglecting them. Forgive us where we've been all about asking things from you. Forgetting we also have to listen from you. Forgetting we also have to live under your purpose. Forgetting we need to submit to your word. Father, we are sorry. We repent, we recommit ourselves to you from today forth that we don't know our tomorrow. All we have hope is that tomorrow will be better, but we don't know our tomorrow. But Father, you are God that looks in our tomorrow. We seek you this morning on this day of redirecting our destinies. We proclaim with our mouth, redirecting our future, redirecting our marriages, redirecting our children, redirecting our businesses, redirecting our health back to you, you that had purposed initially for us to live. Father, you know who our husbands are. You know who the people's wives are. You know which jobs we should do. We, you know when we are dying. You know when we are succeeding. You know how the breakthroughs will come through. So there is nothing you do not know. 
we honor you for your wisdom we honor you for your power and we come before you this morning you said in the bible come to me let's talk father we come tonight to talk to you I'm standing um, in agreement with people that are seeking for husbands. Father, we come before you tonight asking you to direct their steps to their spouses, to direct their steps to their marriages, to direct their steps to their, to their destiny in regards to marriage. They don't know who their spouses are. They don't know when they are coming through. They don't know where they are located. But Father, we know better. We realign ourselves back to you that you may direct them to the right men. That Father, they will not go to time wasters. That they will not waste their entire youth seeking for men. But it will be cut short by you directing them as soon as possible to the right men people that are destined for them both male and female in Jesus' name they are those who have lost considerable money in businesses because they've not even asked you which business they should do and because in their wisdom that's what they think they've messed up and lost a lot of money tonight we redirect ourselves back to you that lord you may realign us that lord you may realign us back to your destiny to to your purpose for our lives because it's more of you and less of us father we bring before you the questions of which business should we do what job should we do where should we get them you will direct us steps because you know all these things so father i pray that tonight as a woman or man out there is praying this prayer asking for you to redirect their steps i pray that you'll come through for them and show them which direction to take because in the scriptures you say that we shall hear a voice behind us telling us to either go left or right i pray that you will tell them where to go whether left or right i pray lord that you'll open doors and channel them into their destiny i pray lord that you'll bring back the lost seasons for them to catch up for whatever they've lost i pray lord that there will be fulfillment and happiness and joy in the name of jesus thank you lord there are so many things we need you to guide us we need you to help us take decisions we need you at crossroads you we need you in the in the wilderness father have mercy forgive us where we've misaligned ourselves we ask you to realign us realign us into our destinies realign us into the marriages you've called us for realign us into the businesses you want us to do realign us into the opportunities we've lost because of negligence realign us in any way possible lord in the name of jesus father thank you for your faithfulness thank you for your love you're never too late or too early lord there is nothing impossible with you. There are people who have been seeking for children, seeking for things, and because of desperacy, they've ended up at witch doctors. And because of that, they've drifted very far away from you and your purpose. Father, we repent on behalf of them. As tonight, they are realigning themselves back to you. Forgive them. Wash away their sins. Start a new page with them. Let it be new beginnings with them as they realign themselves back to you in the name of Jesus. Father, we know that, 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 that the vision still awaits the appointed time and it hastens at the end. And we know that it will not lie. If it seems slow, we will wait for it and surely it will come through. So we are going to believe and wait for the, the visions you've given us, for the dreams you've given us to actually manifest in our day-to-day -day life for the glory of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, Father, we know you know the plans you have for us, and those are plans to prosper us and not to bring us destruction, plans to give us a future and a hope. Father, our future is not certain, but all we have is hope, Hope that the future will be better. Hope that we will have the last love. Hope that we will get our des back to our destiny. Hope that you realign us back into the, the people, that the marriages you want us to be in, in the name of Jesus. I pray that this will not leave someone alone, that someone's way of living will change, that someone's lifestyle will change, that they will change towards seeking you, that they will change towards asking you at every detail whether they should go left or right. And because you direct their steps, they will be led to greatness. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Take all the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen.